Austrian flags as well. Uh, and here is what's coming up. They'll need those flags fairly soon, actually. Uh, Robin Kusch, Nico Pajancic, and Alex Huimont will uh, get us underway in the standing event of the men's Super G. As you can see, 27 were scheduled. Uh, I believe it's 24 altogether. We'll finish with Miroslav Lidinski. Preceded by uh, Jasper Brocan of uh, Belgium. James Stanton. Also in the mix as well. Marcus Salka, the uh, gold medal winner yesterday in the downhill. Another point to prove. Some highlights of the men's visual impaired Super G event and uh, Couple of tumbles. That's uh, Santakana smashing through a gate and uh, hitting the deck. He uh, DNF'd along with Mark Batum. So there was no stopping Mark Murku picking up back to back gold medals. So uh, we're fast approaching the start of our next event, the Men's Standing Super G event. Robin Kush up there at the starting gate. The yellow goggles and the black helmet all of the other equipment needed to compete at this level. Robin Kush, second world championships. There. A sixth place finish yesterday. After a couple of uh, DNFs in his opening world championships. Be uh, happy to have got a finish under his belt. Just over the jump that leads into this right-hander and he's... Uh, Held that well, too quick through there, and uh, that could be the comeuppance. It was the, uh, it's a modified course from yesterday's downhill. Not always the, the case, but that was the corner that got a few out. Kush navigating his way through the gates very well indeed at the moment. 21 28 through the first intermediate. Just having to put the brakes on a little here. And uh, tucks himself in and comes through 106.28. Well, he's got a long old wait to see how that will do. And straight away, Nico Rizantic of Austria 
is away. 15th in the downhill. It's his second World Championships. He says, uh, no risk, no fun. And, uh, he's certainly putting in lots of risk, so therefore, must be having fun. He's actually inside Robin Kush's time here. So, uh, Pajancic of Austria. Had to maintain that speed. This was where Kush got it a little wide and he's dealt with it well, but he has fallen back in terms of a time. So uh, one second outside of Robin Kush's time. So uh, Bajancic makes way for Alexis Guimont. Never done the, uh, the Super G in previous events and uh, just uh, his right ski just starting to turn outwards and he managed to get it back on track as it were oh and a little shaky through there as well and that was the straight part <laughs> 17 year old This is the one that will catch a few out, but he's dealt with it fairly well. As he comes into the final few gates, he'll just come over the brow of the hill in just a moment. Here he comes down towards the finish line. His time will be... Oh, it's good. 106.29. He's born one hundredth of a second outside of Robin Kush. Now, Marcus Salka, yesterday's gold medal winner. Big cheer at the bottom of the hill for him already. He'll be greeted by noise as he makes his way down the run. Bib 37 on his back. 25-year-old from Clarenfoot. You knew of this event in 2013. He, uh, then came fourth in 2015, just missing out on the medals. What can Salka do? So Salka quicker by nearly two seconds through the second intermediate time. How much more can he add to that? Flying through the line he comes. 2.40, 103.88. So Salka, like Mac Marku, trying to do the speed double. Like Marie Boucher. Now, James Whitley of Great Britain. Nineteen year old from Eastbourne. Third World Championships, a first time doing Super G. One point four back from Salka over the first intermediate. the tricky left-hander and Whitley's done it well got a little wider than most but he's trying to make up time and he tucks himself in down towards the finish he will come in at uh, around 107.6 it's 107.69 fifth position for him they're coming thick and fast Jordan Brussin Brussin should I say Brussin okay here Brussan got it all wrong over the little jump. 
and uh, has ended up in the v-netting up in the try and get you updated on Boisson's condition a little later but uh, there it is as he flies into the v-netting at the side So he seems okay, he's up. He even appeared to be offering to help put the netting back. There you go. So uh, Bossan hits hard, doesn't get the landing from the small jump right at all. And you saw the arms go and you knew he was in trouble and there's no real, no really anywhere to go. And you see the landing, up went the arms, threw them back, tried to uh, slam on the anchors, but Nothing there, but uh, Jordan Broussin appears to be okay. He's uh, made his way out of that wreckage. And uh, in fact, he's putting the skis back on and wants to make his way down. So there'll be a slight delay here as the uh, the netting is put back in place by the, uh, the excellent people helping out all up and down this mountain. So uh, we're gonna go into a slight technical delay. I'd love to remind you that uh, tomorrow is a training day here at Tricio, so no action live on the stream. But uh, do join us again on Saturday as we take a look forward to the rest of the action here at the World Para Alpine Skiing Championships 2017. Saturday's events are the super combined events. So uh, we start at a slightly earlier time of 10 a.m. rather than 11 for the first run. Uh, and they will be back to back by the second. So a short gap in between them. But then uh, straight into competition for the second runs we go. Once again, a break on the Sunday for uh, further training. And we return with the uh, with the action on the 30th. On your screens, we're just going to take a look back at some of the action we've seen so far today. And again, yes, returning the V-netting. Jordan Borsan's tumble. As you can see, the team up the uh, side of the piece replacing the V-netting or uh, at least putting it back and securing it. It has to be as good as it was before Jordan Borsan went into it, obviously for the protection of the rest of the athletes to come. Waiting with the, uh, the long delay will be uh, Braden Luscombe. He will be next up. When we get back underway, Santeri Khiveri of Finland, Adam Hall of New Zealand, Hiraku Masawa of Japan, Austria's Christoph Bernhard Schneider, Jeffrey Stutt of the Netherlands. We've then got Mitchell Gorley of Australia, Slovakia's Martin Franz goes then, Andorran Roger, Roger Inasi Dari is uh, Bib 48, 49 is Martin Vrutz of Austria, Kirk Schoenstein, a medalist yesterday for Canada, goes in Bib 50, USA have Thomas Walsh, uh, Arthur Porsche of France goes at bit 52. Italy's Davide Bendotti is a bit 53 again. The